Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. My name is Intent Gamer. In the last episode, we defeated Juan, the eighth and final gym leader of the Hoenn region. And we got the HM Waterfall, so now we can use it whenever we want, whenever whenever we want. And on top of that, we also went to some different places uh, where you can go and use Waterfall. But in this episode, we're going to use the TM Dive. Not here, but somewhere else. All the way back in Dewford Town, we saw a an abandoned ship. That's right. There was an abandoned ship here not too long ago. Actually, a long time ago. <laughs> and well, uh, we could have gone there a really long time ago, but the reason why I didn't go was because, well, we didn't have dive back then, and and you know, I, I want to go to a place where I can lose, get everything done, and not go back there. Sure, you know what? Why not? Let's 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 battle this guy. Let's show him who's boss, Darren, with your tentacle. You think you're cool? No, you need to be cruel. An attack without any mercy, without any delay. And fast going to level? Not yet. Wingo. Let's just stay in and keep using Spark. Why not? I mean, Flash technically shouldn't be able to swim. I mean, like, using electrical attacks on the water. He's not on the Pokemon, right? He's, like, not on the Godin. Because Godin. Because I'm on the Godin. But he's just swimming there and using Spark. He's going to attack not just the Pokemon, but, like, everyone else around us. So. Technically, I should be dead right now, but this is a game, and games don't have logic. Exactly. And there we go, Flash Crew 37, like a long time ago. And he was yawning, sleeping, that's kind of dangerous. You shouldn't do that. Especially when you're swimming. Avoid these guys, avoid everybody. Avoid everyone and their mother. And here we are, in the Ben ship. You'd, you could have gone here like a long time ago, as I said previously. And you could have battled all these trainers, gave them, gained some experience. And, well... Um, get some cool items. But like I said, I didn't want to come here because we couldn't do everything, if you know what I mean. The door's locked. Storage. Oh, you're a trainer. When we go out to sea, we sailors always bring our Pokemon. How about a quick battle? I mean, kudos to you for bringing your Pokemon. But... Feel? Oh, you could have seen Feel like a long time ago. Look at that. Okay. This Feel is so cute. Perfectly round. I don't think that's possible, like, in a real life situation, but... Uh, there it is right there. And I don't think it really go with, you know, swimming either. Because it's like a ball shape. Most fishes, I'm, I'm, I know I'm comparing uh, fish with a seal, but most fishes are slender and thin, so they can swim around much quicker, much easier. And seals are more cylinder shaped. I don't think a circle would do really well in a. We have a dipole in a swimming environment, but that's just me. Some of these people, some of these trainers are, some of these people are trainers, but not everyone. Wait, go back. What is that? We found an escape route, so we can escape whenever we want from this area. Awesome. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, no, 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 I knew, I saw the guy, I knew he was there, I knew he was there. I was gonna run away, but I couldn't run away at the moment he saw me. I think it's like a Zoro or a Mero, there you go. So cute, so happy. He's waving hi. Die. <laughs> I know I made that joke last time. Like literally the last episode, but there you go. I know in the last episode I said, you know, I apologize that 
Uh, there haven't been any uploads lately because, well, we're busy and my, my brother's back and... And it's all a bunch of hooey and whatnot, but uh, I'm getting better at uploading videos. I, I, I'm still planning on doing videos, so don't you guys worry. It's a lot of fun doing these, especially with friends. Uh, just wait to see what other games I have in store for you guys. It's a lot of fun. It's gonna be a really awesome year, really awesome summer. Particularly a summer ready, but that's not the point. The point is, it's gonna be a really awesome summer. See, we, we can dive here, but we couldn't do that previously. Because we didn't have it. Not that we can, and I tell you right here, if you... You can find tentacles here, I think? I'm not exactly sure like how, I never actually seen one. Maybe like go around here maybe. You can find it cross. But yeah. And here we have a, a sort of like a puddle sort of. Room three is open. You see the shiny right there? You see the precious? I found a water stone. But that's not, not the precious. The precious is over here. We found a room key one. So we got a room. So we got a room one, of course, obviously. We open the key. We put the key inside and open the door. You don't open the key. You open the door. And then now there's two shinies. And we have TM18 Rain Dance, which is cool. We found room key four right here. And then the other one is just a piece of trash, I think. Where is it? It's bright and shiny, but it's just trash. Yeah, see. So you, you sort of get the idea. I think it was room four, wasn't it? Yeah, room four. So now we have three shinies. Room six. I'm just getting lucky with these. <laughs> I don't know if it's by memory, I swear. I think the other one are just pieces of trash. Yeah, that one's trash. And then... Next to the door, no? Next to the door. Next to the chair. Where is it? Okay, point is, it's just trash. It's just, you just want one thing and, it's tr and not enough to trash is the other thing, so. Open this. And there's nothing here. And we found a luxury ball, which is a decent, a pretty good, uh, it's a great ball. Hey, see what I did there? Great ball. <laughs> Cause I think I have the catch rate of... Very shiny, it's just trash. Okay, it's one of these. Okay, so I have to go into the room five. Room 5, not Maroon 5, and then look for the shiny. I think I see it, okay. So come down here. Think through. Alright, shiny to the trash. Here it is, room key 2. And the other one is just trash, again. So there we go, and now we can go to room key. Now we can go to room 2. Over here. Open it. And then we get this thingy. What is it? You find a scanner. Yes. Which is what the guy was looking for. I forgot his name. Professor Stern, I think. Remember who was the guy back in Slayport City? Making a ship. I guess it's here looking for a scanner or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah. Now we're just swimming, we're diving. Pretty cool. I don't think I will ever go to an abandoned ship if I ever see one. Like, kind of scary. And you could have gone here a long time ago and get TM13 Ice Beam. Yeah. So, sorry about that. Instead <laughs> of wasting your money on the game corner. Who's in here? So, there we go. Trainer, that's right. Okay. Well, let's talk to the guy, let's, and let's give him the scanner, because he was looking for the scanner. Up here, and here he goes. Oh, that's a scanner! Listen, I can give to deliver that to Captain Stern, of course. Okay, of course I'll deliver it to Captain Stern. Another one sleep port. Can I use fly? I can use fly here. Can I use escape room? Maybe? I can. That's what provides you one. I think like every dungeon, they will provide you with an escape rope. 
and like really early on too, just in case you want to leave for whatever reason, you're not just stuck there. It's a really cool courtesy that you do, it, it, that almost every Pokemon game has ever done. When you go to like a cave or dungeon or something like that. Pretty cool. So now we go to Captain Stern right here. Captain Stern, over here, all over here. And talk to him. Oh, Chris, that item you have. That's a scanner, that will sure help us on our explorations. Chris, will you trade your scanner for something? Like, say, a deep sea tooth or a deep sea scale that I have? Okay. So, I really went over this uh, with Clamp Pearl's evolution. This is where you get the deep sea tooth and a deep sea scale. Now, I recommend getting the deep sea scale only because Corbis is a little bit better than Huntail. But, in the end, you know, you can choose whatever you want. You can't get both. You only get one per game. And I don't think you can catch like a lot of camp pearls and then have the deep sea tooth or a deep sea scale. I think it's just like a one time thing, so. I'm gonna go with the deep sea scale. Not that it can be able to trade anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. And you can give him a lot of research. Okay, good. So now that we have that, you can go get any clamp pearl you ever want. And evolve it and trade give it the deep sea scale and trade it to one of your friends and then trade it back. Hopefully he's not an a-hole and keep your your precious Gorobis. Which I mean is decent. And you know some good water moves like Hydro Pump and 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 Psychic. I think learn Psychic. Better than Huntail, for sure. Now now that we're here, instead of looking for a clam pearl. You can also look for another Pokemon, and that Pokemon is Relicanth. I went over Relicanth already, it, it is a water rock type, but the thing is you want to try and catch one if you don't have one already. I highly recommend you catch one right now. Okay, so on that note, on that note, what a note, um, I already caught a Relicanth, believe it or not, off screen. Because it's sort of hard to find. Like a 10% chance or like 1% chance of actually appearing, something like that. So you want, so you want to go around here and try and find, try and catch one. I, re I highly recommend that. And then just dive up here. And then I also highly recommend catching a Wellord. Now I already caught a Wellord off screen. If you go to Route 129. And surf around there, you have a 1% chance of finding this coveted whale lord at level uh, ranges from 25 to 30. So do not have a repel with you when you're trying to look for one because if you're trying to look for one and you couldn't find it, that's probably because why well, you keep using repel for that. So now, so once you have your whale lord and relicants, I want you to fly to Pacific Log. Well, not you, per se, me to fly there, but if you're playing along, you can fly over there right now. And then you're gonna get your Relicanth and your Warlord. I have the green shard. So, believe it or not, I did not know this for... until now, but... When I caught a Relicanth, it already has the green shard with it, which is really weird. Um, not weird, but... Like, I didn't know it can have green uh, shards, not just green shards, but like other different color shards. So, because of that, I guess you can, in such a way you can have infinite uh, stones, I guess. Like leaf stones, rock, uh, rock stones. <laughs> of course, rock, rock stones. Stones are already rocks, what am I saying? <laughs> uh, I'm so stupid. Um, but yes, you want to have. Wait, what, what was I saying? You can have thunderstones, leaf stones, fire stones, because you have different color shards that relicants can technically hold and have. So there you go. Uh, we have surf right here, and we need dive. I'm gonna teach that to well, Lord. And even finally, because it took me like three hours just trying to try and find one. My capture one? No, no. no. Just to find one, because it's like I said, it's a, it's a one percent chance of finding the well order. 
and you're gonna have and you're gonna want a Pokemon with Dig as well. So make sure you have Rock Smash, Strength, and Dig with you. And if you don't have Dig for whatever reason, uh, there is Pokemon that can learn Dig by itself, but not for like a really late level, like. Uh, Trampinch, I think, can learn Dig, but not to like 40 something. And Nankata can learn Dig as well, but it's like at the same level, like 45, 41, something like that. And we have a Gyarados here. Oh gosh. The reason why I know this is because this is a failed recording. <laughs> this is a failed recording. This is a guy, I uh, thought it had like 6 Magikarps, but no, he has. One Magikarp and five Gyarados. I don't have. I don't have. Oh, Flash. Hmm. It's Calibur. Your time to shine. I haven't used him. Haven't used you much, but now is your time to shine. Hopefully, you take your power. Yes. Get rid of it. Q. Uh, Gyarados, of course. I'm gonna use Erlin because I know Escalibur is gonna have a tough time with Gyarados. Especially with five of them, if you keep if you keep using Intimidate. But Erlin doesn't doesn't give a crap, and it doesn't activate, of course not. Okay, well, Erlin, you Thunderbolt. That sort of reminds me of the anime, uh, like when he was uh, when Ash was fighting a uh, Surge, like right, you give him a thunderbolt or something like that, like really weird voice. I guess give him a th give him a thunderbolt. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of weird. And Surge, oh my God, Surge is like an eight foot tall man. He can he can pretty much be a Pokemon at this point. <laughs> You just punch a Gyarados in the face and you know, the Gyarados will faint. He's that big of a man. He's like 8 feet tall. According to what they say in the anime. Like twice the size of Ash. And Ash is like a 10 year old boy. He's like about 4 feet. 10 or 11, something like that. Or 12. Something like that. Either way, he's around 4 feet tall. Ash is around 4 feet tall. So. And Surge is like twice his height. I should probably give a chance. Like I haven't seen any of the any of the anime recently. I think the last time I watched the anime was like I watched like the first like the first season, like the first generation, I guess. You know, with Charter, Pikachu, and stuff like that. I watched them, and then I watched a little bit of the Johto region as well. I remember he has a hair cross, and I think it was like a pink Rhyhorn. And then I skip all that entirely. I never, I actually never watched the Orange Islands. I do know there's like a Crystal Onyx, which is kind of weird. This is back then before there was a shiny. But you know, how awesome would that be? A shiny Onyx is a Crystal Onyx. How awesome would that have been? But no, they didn't do that. They could have done it, but they didn't. And then like the last, um, I guess truly, times I've ever seen Pokemon was the Hoenn region. And I pretty much there I just stopped watching the anime, just, just, just only played the game, solely for the games. And which is a shame, because I heard like, a lot of good things about the uh, Sinnoh, when he goes to Sinnoh. When Ash goes to Sinnoh. Okay. Uh, Relicants, I don't need you up front, I need Erlen up front. And that's Calibur, you need some levels, so do that. Yes, yeah, get a double battle. It's the Buffon. Faded? Farted? What? <laughs> For a minute I thought I said farted. I know I said faded, but I said, it looks like I said farted. From with Franklin and Debra would like to battle. Of course you do. Celio and Seeking. We trade Swift Swim, doesn't matter. 
Thunderbolt the Celio and then Secret Power the Seeking. Seal C Celio. Oh <laughs> Okay. The reason why I thought it was like Celio, like sea, like the ocean sea. I didn't get that until just now. I thought it was just a seal, because it's a seal, you know, basically, like, you know, an utter seal. Which eventually transforms or evolves into a warring, warus. But yeah, seal in, into warus. That makes sense, right? They're like different breeds entirely. And we defeated them. Good. Awesome. No. Stop that right now. Tend to cool. More like tend to get out of here. Liquid ooze. I don't need that. Yeah. And we found a Max Revive? Yes, Max Revive, of course. I remember, you remember? I remember this. You don't remember this because you haven't seen this. But I have. Make sure you follow the the path at exactly where I am, because otherwise if you don't, you're gonna screw yourself. You're gonna royally screw yourself. No, not just royal. No, not just screwed, no. Royally screwed. Which means like upper class screw. Uh, I'm just being stupid. <laughs> and if you see here, this is a, a new area entirely. Huh. I am not exactly sure what this is, but... Why well, I think I do, but my character doesn't, so I'm just playing along. You step up here, and we have reached a new area. Sorry about that, it's just like, I want you guys to feel the atmosphere, not only like where we are right now, but with the music itself. Seems kind of creepy, it's kind of mysterious. You know. Kind of cool. Give it like an eatery feeling. Who do you have? X attack? Cool. Who do you have? Green shirt, that's right. Now, um... This is known as Braille, and there's, um, there's a few tablets here, and this basically gives you the alphabet, so that's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then so on and so forth. And so your job is to like decipher what this says right here. So it says, dig here, period. So we're gonna do just that, we're gonna dig here. Is he going to escape from here? Just say yes. And technically we are escaping from this area and going to a new area. See, see what they did there? And we are in the second part of the cell chamber. And as you can see, there's a arrangement of six rocks around here in a particular fashion. Well, I think we've seen at least two of those different kinds of formation around the Hoenn region. So this is why it's really important to have Wellord and Relicants in this particular order. You can't just have them in a party. You have to have Wellord in the front and Relicants in the back. If you're playing Pokemon Emerald, if you're playing Ruby or Sapphire, it is reversed. It says something along the lines of first comes Wellord, then comes Relicants. Oh, 
and strange. It sounded like there was three doors that opened. We have more flavor text here. Hmm. I don't know on top of my head what it says, so I'm gonna look I'm gonna look this up right now because it does have something interesting to say. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. So, I don't know the exact typical order in which, this, in which this says. This says right here. In this cave, we have lived. We are all the Pokemon. We are all to the Pokemon. But we sealed the Pokemon away. We feared it. Those with courage. Those with hope. Open a door, an eternal Pokemon awaits. And that's what all this says. <laughs> okay. I should have been more dramatic and just, you know, stop reading it and go to the next one and be more dramatic that way, but apparently not. We can't have things the way we want them, I guess. Like this episode, because this episode is going on long enough. So, on top of that, on that top of that, on that note, we will find those two doors that we have opened because we know at least where two, th two of them are so we will go to those caves and see what awaits us over there so I hope you guys have a wonderful fantastic day and thank you for watching bye